In the previous videos, we have discussed about the flank sections can exist in two conditions where the stress block can lie within the compressive flank or it can extend beyond the flank. In this video, we are going to discuss the conditions where the stress block lies within the compressive flank. When the stress block height S is less than HF, we will know that the effective compressive regions of the sections it will be within the area of the flank which is the summations of BF time S. The design strength of the concrete is equals to 0 0.567 FCK. This gives us a resultant compressive force by the concrete equals to 0 0.567 FCK multiply S multiply BF. The moment resistance of the sections is calculated by multiplying the force by the concrete with the lever arm. The lever arm is determined by minusing the D with half of the height of the stress plot as given in the equation here. If you look at this setup, it is very identical to a condition where the rectangular sections have the width equivalent to the width of the flank. If you compute the moment based on this diagram, as the stress block diagram, it will be the same. The moment will be the same as well. In another word, the moment resistance of these sections is actually equals to a moment resistance of this section. This brings us to an understanding that proper utilization of the flank in the flank sections could lead to a more economical design of a reinforced concrete beam particularly in terms of the amount of concrete being used in the sections. This can reduce the self-weight of the concrete while maintaining the strength of the member. To determine the amount of reinforcement area required for the sections, the same set of equations used for a typical rectangular section is applied. As both are built based on the same set of stress plot diagram. These are the three most important equations that you need to determine the area of a flank section. First, you need to determine the K, which is equals to M per FCK BD square. Next, determine the lever arm. Once you have the lever arm, substitute the lever arm into the equations, you will be able to obtain the area of reinforcement bar required. However, bear in mind that the B here is actually referring to the BF. Only when the flank is under compressions. The flank offers no contributions in terms of the moment resistance when it is undergoing tension. As concrete is assumed not offering any tensile strength to the section. In another word, if we have an inverted T section here and the top part of the beam here is undergoing compressions, the B here will be taken as the width of the sections, which is not equal to the width of the flank. So while you are using these equations, you need to ensure that the flank is actually undergo compressions before you adopt B as the B flank.